Gaming on Linux has never been better. This is an objective fact, and if anyone tells you otherwise, that's gaslighting. Welcome back everyone, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, the reason why I have been slacking this week because I have still been uh, partially sick and as I was getting better Path of Exile 2 has uh, come out and the reason for this video is because basically I have been playing it all weekend long. I mean all of the Saturday and all of the Sunday and I have been thinking about making a video uh, for my channel but you know the game is so gripping I just couldn't put it down. And how did this all start, right? Basically, you click download button on Steam, the game downloads, then you click the play button and then you play. It's like magic. What I'm saying with this is that gaming on Linux has been very, very good for the past couple of years, like really, really good. Um, you can argue with me that there is uh, other launchers like Epic Launcher and... Uh, the the games on GOG and the games on Blizzard Launcher that required a little bit of tinkering and there is also Lutris and Heroic. Uh, all of that doesn't quite work as out of the box as the main player, the main gamer would like. The, you know, the, the completely non-technical person, right? The, the average console player. Uh, but Steam, on the other hand, pretty much just works, right? You, you you can argue with me, but it's it's an objective fact, right? Now, if you are a true hardcore gamer, then this video might not really be for you, because uh, in, the, in the light of the scaling things, uh, I, I mean, the, the, the whole channel of mine is pretty much for free software and Linux. Uh, and, you know, the, the free software way of life and the philosophy doesn't quite fit with commercial stuff. Uh, such as video games. So these are two separate hobbies, but they do intersect quite a lot uh, because a lot of Linux enthusiasts are also gaming enthusiasts. And some of you have already asked me, how does this work with me? Uh, basically, in, in my opinion, gaming is an art form. You know, making video games is an art form. And I don't have a problem with games being proprietary and closed source. Um, I'm, I'm not too ashamed of saying that because, as I said, from my perspective, this is an art form. And in one way, we can argue what Richard Stallman says, that everything should be uh, open source and free software, whatever contains a source code, like a program code, right, such as video games. Uh, but in my opinion, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, if it's an art form. And if you are a true gamer, then you already uh, probably have uh, Windows installed because you need every single one of the video games available on the market for you. You want to be able to have access to everything. You already have PlayStation 5 Professional. You already have Xbox Series X. You already have uh, Nintendo Switch and the old consoles. You have it all stacked on your or on your shelf as a memory. And, you know, the, the Linux will not be the truly best representation of what gaming is or should be for you. However, even if you're not a true free software enthusiast, there is something to Linux gaming and particularly with Steam uh, that could be appealing to you. Because if you look at the Steam Deck device, what is particularly appealing about this device is that it's a kind of a no frills device. And what I mean about that is that it's, it's a particularly boring device and in quite a good way. You click the download button, the game downloads, then you click play and you play the game. Uh, there is no tinkering, there is no driver downloads, there is no, no tinkering at all. Uh, everything is being taken care of for you by the company that is making the device and the drivers are getting updated on their own in the background. You really don't need to know about what is going on uh, behind the scenes. The, the device mostly just works. And this mostly comes from the fact that this is not a Windows device. So uh, a lot of this translates to Linux uh, PCs as well. Uh, because when you install uh, Steam on Linux, uh, you get Proton with it. And the default version of Proton that gets bundled with Steam is pretty much enough for 
uh, most of the games today. Uh, and this is how I played Path of Exile 2. So if you are in a market to kind of run away from all the tinkering uh, with your Windows PC and uh, you are ready to give it a little bit of a compromise between having all of the games uh, available in the entire world for a little bit of stability and less tinkering, then you might want to consider Linux gaming. Uh, because uh, once again, in my opinion, we are now in a pretty, pretty good uh, position with it. And the top list of the games that don't really work on Linux are basically PvP games uh, that require anti-cheat for uh, competitive measures. Uh, some of them do work, uh, some of them don't. Uh, if you haven't checked out my uh, Sea of Thieves video, you can um, check it out now, uh, because in that video I have been talking about how uh, Rare, the company behind Sea of Thieves, is uh, taking care of us, the Linux players, with their anti-cheat and everything. There are more games that do work and have anti-cheat, so it's not all doom and gloom and like none of the games with anti-cheat work, it's just that some of the most prominent ones, such as Call of Duty and Fortnite, don't work, also Destiny. Uh, but if you are not one of those gamers that uh, are who is dependent on these three games or similar ones, maybe Valorant, uh, and you're mostly into single player experiences, uh, then I think Linux is in pretty good shape for you. At this point, you might as well call me a Steam fanboy. I, I will not mind because we are living in the world of capitalism and as much as we like free software, there is no really big incentive to drive uh, things in, in a tectonic way f forward other than if somebody is making a ton of money, right? So we are all pretty aware that Valve is doing this in order to fill their own pockets for the first and foremost. Uh, but in a way, I am grateful that I am able to completely delete my Windows partition and I have been enjoying my cozy little Linux place here as well as my video games. So I'm going to see you in the next video.